Car design has been improved for over 100 years. Over this time, lots of useful inventions that simplify life for both car owners and passengers were made. Can a flying taxi, a robot car, and other inventions that extend capabilities of our usual transport become in demand? Actually, it's for you to decide. Nice and neat car wheel rims remind me of shiny shoes for a gentleman. Chrome and polished rims have become a cult in the Americas, as well as in Australia and New Zealand. For polishing and cleaning the rims, polishing machines are usually used. There is little pleasure about this job. Not a good idea to spend a time, besides it takes a lot of time. Australian company Aussie Rimshine has patented a simple and effective method of polishing the rims. The device features a rotor with polishing heads driven by an electric or a gasoline engine. A pneumatic chassis makes the device very maneuverable. It is assembled on a light frame and processes one wheel in four minutes. Thus, polishing all wheels including the semi-trailer ones will take no more than half an hour without losing time for dismantling. Any driver knows that studded tires help a lot when driving on ice. However, it strongly reduces stability and maneuverability on dry asphalt. In regions where ice lasts less than six months, various studded tire covers are used. Spike Spider is one of those inventions. It is far from being neat, but one can't deny its effectiveness. A unique substitute for chains is stored in a case and is mounted on the wheel hub using a locking mechanism. So-called paws of the Spike Spider are easily pressed against the tire, and if necessary, removed and packed in the trunk. Reinventing the wheel seems not to make any sense. Orbis doesn't think so, though. The company has developed an innovative Orbis ring drive that can replace almost the entire transmission of a car. In terms of mechanics, the main advantage of this wheel is in reducing the potential mass of the car, increasing the maneuverability, and decreasing the braking distance. The wheel is a planet gear with a sun gear, where a disc brake, a driving pinion, and a rotating rim are fixed. The rim diameter is 19 inches, its width 9 inches. A light rim along with a tire significantly reduces unsprung masses and the moment of inertia. In addition, efficiency of such braking mechanism was increased by 30%. At the same time, the energy recovery efficiency in a hybrid car was increased by several times. Perhaps this machine is not exactly a car, but it performs its functions. In Hollywood blockbusters, we saw taxis that move by air. Now, Bell Helicopters has made it clear that wheel taxis may soon become obsolete. Bell Nexus was unveiled at the CES show in Las Vegas in January. The Nexus hybrid flight system was developed by the French company Safran Helicopter Engines and is based on six propellers that can be folded like a stack of fritters when the vehicle is on the ground. Nexus operates on two energy sources, onboard batteries and a gas turbine that starts an electric generator. Such an aircraft has no equal in a metropolis. It ensures a fast and comfortable transportation anywhere in the city. However, what we see on the screen is nothing more than a full-scale model. Development of this technical stuffing and control system is already underway. The interesting project RoboMobile was introduced by the DLR German Alliance, which specializes in robotics. It's not really a car, although the key principles are preserved. Besides, it moves on ground. The main feature of RoboMobile is that transmission, engines, steering and brakes are placed inside each of the four wheels. At the same time, wheels can rotate around 90 degrees in either direction, allowing the electric car to turn in place as well as to move sideways and diagonally. Wheel robots are controlled both from the inside with the help of a joystick and remotely. In addition, RoboMobile has got a fully autonomous driving system, based on the readings of eight cameras and a dozen sensors on board. Each electric motor has got a power of 16 kilowatts, and the total torque is 640 newton meters. An increased number of cars in the cities causes parking problems. Serva has developed a flexible and efficient Ray automated robotic parking system for large parking lots, airports, shopping, and office centers. This technical solution is already being tested at the Dusseldorf International Airport. According to preliminary results, due to efficiency of cars' distribution in the parking lot using the new mechanism, 60% more vehicles were automatically accommodated compared to a live parking. The car is taken to the entrance portal, where a robotic conveyor accepts it. 
The robot is controlled from an automatic dispatch center, which indicates the location and trajectory of the vehicle. The system automatically recognizes dimensions of the car and the parking time, as well as calculates the optimal parking spot in order to completely eliminate the irrational use of the space. This saves about 161 square foot of space for each car, since a driver does not need to open the doors in the parking zone. Automakers have not had their final say and have not finalized the design of the perfect car yet. Are such inventions necessary today, when the era of flying transport is coming? Will cars still drive on ground? Write your thoughts on this in the comments and subscribe to the channel. Many more interesting things still to come. Don't forget to catch up.